Hi, this is Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Welcome to Crochet Podcast, episode 91. Thanks so much for inviting me over. If you are new to this channel, my name is Krista and that is my secret yarnery. This channel is all about crochet and crochet related goodness. So if you haven't joined and subscribed to this channel, go ahead and do that under this video. And I can't wait to show you what I've been up to. Like I'm really excited about it. So I do have a finished object. It is already a written pattern over on my website, secretyarnery.com. And it will be a tutorial coming out tomorrow. You might think, why is the yarnery looking so weird right now? It is dark outside. This is how dark it is outside. <laughs> dark! It's like 5.30 now, I think. There's my yarnery. Hello, yarnery. It is very early morning. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Yeah, it's that dark outside. It's like 5.30 in the morning. Taking the kids to Navasha today. So excited about it. We are going to see birds of prey. Uh, birds of prey Kenya, I think or maybe it's East Africa. Anyway, I'll link that down below as well. That will be an upcoming really interesting video on my other channel, TSY After Party, the secret yarnery after party. And that's kind of stuff behind the scenes if you're interested. It will be coming out in the future because we'll have to edit it. <laughs> but if you're wondering where I am this weekend, I'll be doing a couple lives over on that channel. You can kind of see what a different part of Kenya looks like. Kids are super excited and I'm excited too. Anyway, back to finished objects. Let me start. Oh, I don't have my fail. Where's my fail? Ah, Jiminy Crickets. Well, just trust me, I have some fails. Oh, is it over here? Well, just trust me, I have a fail. <laughs> Let me show you my real finished objects first. Bum, bum, bum. Sorry, I don't know that. Apparently your name included. Alarming. Alexa, you're too loud. Oh, now she's going to talk to me. Figures. All right. Anyway, that happened. <laughs> That's a thing. Um, I made these really cute bookmarks little heart bookmarks with a cute little teardrop end. Isn't that cute? To just fit inside your book. Now I really should have a book here, shouldn't I? Let me get a book. So they look like that. They have a cute little, little tab hanging at the bottom, little dongle, and you can of course make them any size, which will be included, which is already included in the written pattern. And how cute is that? I love it. Anyway, the first one was a bit of a fail because I wanted a heart that ended, started and ended at the bottom of the heart, not like the top where you cinch it down at the top. So I had to kind of re-engineer that. It started, I was waiting at the orthodontist with my son Mir. He's getting his braces off in two weeks. Did I already tell you that? So excited. Anyway, I came up with, I was sitting there for an hour without yarn without a crochet hook, which reminds me, I have to put an emergency crochet hook in my vehicle, just like a ball of yarn and a hook and a pair of scissors because I was sitting there, I was like, what am I gonna do? Anyway, I wrote out a little chart. I didn't use it. <laughs> I can show you that though. <laughs> I wrote out a little chart of stitches of how I think I could have modified the heart that I've already made like a few like ages ago, years and years ago, to start and end at the bottom. I ended up not even using it. I just sat in bed and kind of played around with it. Anyway, my first heart had too many stitches, but this one I'm quite happy with. I think it's so cute. So this is a tutorial and a written pattern coming out for all of these cuties. Oh, I can just put a picture over top so you don't have to be looking at these. They are so cute, right? So that is coming out tomorrow. So I have a big one for my planner binder and I'm really, I just love it. They're so cute and you can use this little tiny bits of yarn. It doesn't have to be, like it use, it's great stash buster. That's what I'm trying to say. So that is my finished object and I love them. They're so cute. I also made, well how it started, that's my finished object. How it started, I could make these bookmarks for Valentine's Day, all these cute little colors. It'd be like a good time of year to do the tutorial. 
and then I was talking with the WhatsApp group, which I'll tell you all about later also, um, and we had some good ideas for the ends, not we, they. So the friends and family members had some great ideas of using those fancy stitch markers. Where, where am I? Let me get them. You know those fancy stitch markers? Let me get some out that I don't use because I think they're just too pretty. But those cute little, uh, but those cute little charms would be so cute on the bottom of some. Wouldn't that be adorable? But then I'm like, what if people don't have, like what if you don't have these fancy ones? So then I'm like, we could just put the little ball on the end. Well, Kim thought of doing a Pico, which I did, Kim. If I have it, I'll show you over on my table. Well, I know I have it, but I don't know where it is. Probably upstairs in my bed. But it looked too small. It just kind of looked like, uh, what do you call it? Like you've made a really bad chain, <laughs> or you chained into the same chain twice. It did. It wasn't big enough, so I put. So I modified it to make these little drop ends. It also kind of weighs it down and looks super cute, like underneath your book. So anyway, those are great. And these were my first versions without anything on the bottom. They're still good, but see how they hang better with a little something on the end. So the progression. Anyway, I got a lot of bookmarks. Hit me up. <laughs> Just joking, you can make your own, I get it. Anyway, that is my finished object. Let me get my little treasures put back, my little hoarding treasures. Oh, Kim, I think I have yours too, hold on. Well, I know I have yours, Kim. I'm just saying, I think they're still in the box. So this is from Classy Kim Crochets, my cute little beaded box, I love it. And inside there, she also sent me some stitch markers, which I still keep in here because I think they're just too much cute. Kim's so great. She put them on like big pins. There we go. So even these would be so cute at the bottom of a bookmark. And she even sent me ones with letters. She's so smart. See, but any of these would be great on a bookmark because you wouldn't get, they wouldn't get lost or anything like that. So thank you so much, my sweet Kim. I still have them treasured in my treasure box. So that's my little treasure from Classy Kim. Anyway, I have a lot of those stitch markers and those bookmarks would be great for it. <laughs> that's the long and short. Hobbit cloak. This I'm working on casually. And I have gotten this far. Can you even see? Yeah. I've gotten that far, which is good, but I'm only working on it because I love it. And this is just my relaxation crochet. I can just crochet it to feel better. <laughs> You know, you need that little crochet pick-me-up. This is my crochet pick-me-up. And oh, wow, look what I found it. <laughs> I found it. This is my first heart bookmark. So it has a lot of, it has too many stitches up in here. It's all kind of weird. It's not joined nice at the bottom. I tried to do a tassel, like just unwinding, like adding some yarn and then untwisting it. It was longer and it looked kind of like really bad doll hair. <laughs> So I kept trimming it and like maybe it'll look better shorter, shorter. Anyway, I'm still saying that's, a, that's still a no to me. But anyway, in my whip basket, I knew it was somewhere. So I have gotten this far with my yarn. So I've finished the top row and I have one, well, I haven't. I have one skein or one little cake left of uh, the top row and then the full bottom row. And I'm just working in order. They are progressively larger. This was from our frogging party. Oh, speaking of frogging party, Keep my hook in there. We are gonna be doing a, like a whip sort through, a big whip, like find your whips, and are you keeping them? Are you frogging them? What are you doing with your whips? We're gonna go through our whips first Tuesday of March. So I think on the first Tuesday of the month, uh, we're gonna do some sort of organizational thing. It's a live video, it'll be my morning time, and your, depending on what time that is. It'll be about eight hours earlier than the Friday live chat, but it'll be on a Tuesday. So I will be putting that up about a week before, so you can kind of click on the channel and set yourself a reminder of when that's happening or put it in your diary. So that is something to do if you are thinking of organizing. And I do appreciate the comments I've gotten for people that have thought about organizing or started to organize or are organizing. That is great. I am so glad I want to do the same. And it really feels like March 1st is so far away, but it's just going to be here. <laughs> I know there's like so much going on between now and then. So I'm putting all of my caking and whips aside. There's going to be a mountain of them and we're just going to sit and be like, Ugh. And the ones that uh, are still a whip, great. The ones that are not a whip are going to get packed up as UFOs. UFOs are going to get gone through. I don't know if I have time to go through them that day. I have a lot of UFOs. Should we just do the whole thing? I don't know. We'll see. 
Maybe I'll, maybe I'll hype myself up for it. We'll have like a UFO whip sort through. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe we'll do UFOs another time, but we'll put some whips as UFOs. That's fair. Now, speaking of organizing and getting your things together, I had an extra tape dispenser, so I popped in masking tape. I'm loving this. I'm loving masking tape. I'm using masking tape for everything. There's something just so much more satisfying about ripping off a piece of masking tape than there is ripping off a piece of like plastic tape, cello tape, scotch tape. Masking tape is great. I know it's not clear. I'm loving it. I'm loving like the old fashioned thing of it. So anyway, if you have masking tape laying around your house in a tape dispenser, pop it in the tape dispenser and rip a couple pieces off. It is like really fun. <laughs> Isn't that great? There is something about it. Give it a try, I'm just saying. That was random, I know, but I'm, I'm not joking. <laughs> I'm being serious. I've also come up with an upload schedule if you're wondering when my videos are and what I'm up to. It looks like this for me. So that means I'll be doing a little educational video, a little class on Thursdays, a live chat on Fridays with an after party over on TSY After Party. There will be a podcast on Saturdays and a fresh tutorial, hopefully with a written pattern on Sundays. Then on Monday and Tuesday, I'm over on TSY After Party just with stuff out and about or in my yard. And that will be going up until it gets too cold for me. So probably like June. <laughs> And then we'll come up with something else for the summer and resume that in the fall or something similar to it. So I hope that helps you know where I'm going to be and how you can find me. I'm pretty much around every day. And I had a lot of questions about my binder. So here is what my planner looks like up close. I just dragged and dropped a bunch of flowers to make the clip art and some font in the middle. And then I made a little, was it, table of contents for my tabs. So I'm happy with how it is right now, but I can always change it again if I have a different need in the future. And then on the back of my table of contents is my yarnery conversion chart, just with all the different sizes of yarn and all the information about it. So the size, the number size, the word size, so super bulky, bulky, worsted, DK sport fingerling lace, and then also the UK yarn terms, which is super chunky, chunky, Aaron, DK, four ply, three ply, and lace. And then Australian yarn types, 16 ply, 12 ply, 10 ply, eight ply, which is their most common, easily found yarn. Five ply, four ply again, five ply, four ply, three ply, two ply. And then the crochet hook sizes in millimeters, that you would be using with that yarn and the letters. So that goes along with like, if you have a two weight, you'll probably be using a four to five millimeter hook or a G or H hook. And then for a four worsted weight, you would use a five to seven millimeter hook, which is an H and I, a J or a K. And another handy thing is wraps per inch. Wraps per inch is how many times you can wrap yarn around a ruler in one inch. And that tells you, depending on how many wraps you can get around in one inch, you can kind of follow this column down and it will show you what yarn type that is. So if you can get your yarn around 30 to 36 times, that is a one weight yarn, a fingerling. And an Aran weight or a worsted weight yarn would have eight to 10 wraps per inch. So that's just natural wraps, not pushing them together and not spacing them out. Just eight to 10 wraps around a ruler in one inch. So that is really handy. I like that one a lot. Uh, knitting needle sizes, and then the gauge for a four inch or 10 centimeter uh, piece of work. So this side is yards per 3.53 ounces, or just a normal one skein of yarn. And this is meters per 100 grams. So you can also just kind of be like, oh, it has this many meters, and it'll kind of end you up in a range of what yarn weight it is. So this is available over on my website if you want your own copy, but it is super handy, and of course, I love the colors. So now onto my actual tabs and how I use my binder. I've divided the first four tabs into weeks. So these first four tabs, I divide what I need to get done into the weeks. So week one, all my things are here, week two, week three, and week four. And then I can also work ahead if I have week one finished. Uh, you can work ahead a little bit and you know exactly what you need to do because it's divided into weeks. After that is my calendar tab. And this is the calendar for the entire year. And if uh, the month is finished, I just take it out and I put it at the back. So I still have what I was doing, but it's at the back and I have the current month at the front. So I don't have to flip through the 
the calendar every time. It is waiting for me right here. It's also a spot where you can like write down what you need to get done or what might be happening, Ice Yarn Delivery, Amazon Delivery, so excited about it. And this is also my filming schedule. After calendar is my to-do list. So I just have little tick boxes on a couple columns and I can just write down random things that I need to get done. And when it gets too messy or I get a bunch of things done, I can pop it on to a new page and start fresh. The next tab I have is to pay, but it's also to buy. So I also have my shopping lists and everything over here. So green is for my shopping lists. Same as my to-do list, just a little tick, tick, tick. I might do one that's more sectioned for shopping malls and what I need at Two Rivers, what I need at Village Market, what I need from Amazon, like that so I'd have it more sectionalized but for right now this is what it looks like then to pay right now is still the same although I want to change this to a ledger I just haven't had time to do it yet and then I'll have my bills like an actual ledger page where I'll have my bills and the amount and I'll just have it all kind of like going down like that but for now again <laughs> it is the same as my other pages it just has a different title after that is tutorials classes and after party these are just places to keep notes on whatever projects I'm working on or tips and tricks I want to share with you you or places I want to show you out and about in Kenya. So you could put whatever fits into your life here or you could have a separate to buy and to pay tabs so your bills are in one place and your shopping list is in another, which is what I would do if I didn't need these three tabs here. After that I have all of my calendar months, so just January, February, March, April, May, etc. And then whatever's happening in that month, I can just pop it in to these slots. I also want to make a page for birthdays and just slide it in to the month that would be appropriate for it. Just a place where if you have a party idea or you want to make something special or a gift idea, there is a page for that person in the month. And for me, that would be helpful in these sections as well. And that is how I keep my planner. I've also had some questions about joining the WhatsApp group. So that is available for all family members of the channel. So you can join here and then you have to scroll down and join the family plan. The family plan. That's hilarious. Join the family level membership and then yes, totally part of the WhatsApp group. I know it costs more than the other levels, but that is the value you get for it is the WhatsApp group. I'm also available to family members for a video chat every month, 15 minute video call, private, just you and me. So that's great if you have any questions or you want to connect that way. So those are the perks of joining at that level. So if you're interested in that, that's how you join and I would love to chat with you. I also want to highlight your Secret Stitches Cal blanket. There is so many gorgeous ones out there. So what I'd like to do is put together a little video series of all the blankets out there are the ones with that people want to share so if you'd like to share your blanket so you can just do a short video highlighting your blanket or showing it or even sharing a photograph and I can incorporate that into a video series of all the beautiful Secret Stitches Cal's blankets out there so if that's of interest to you and you'd like us to see your blanket highlighted on this channel you can email it to me at secretyarnery at gmail.com. So secretyarnery at gmail.com and we, I can put that all together and you have until about March, and you have until March 15th to get that to me. So you have some time and I'd love to see it. And if you're on social media, you can also put your video up there and tag me. Hashtag I love my secret stitches Cal 2021. Yay! Can't wait to see it. So that is all super great and coming up. So I hope that answers all the questions from last week. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments under this video and I'd be happy to answer them next week. And thanks so much for inviting me over. I gotta get those kids up and get out to Navasha. Can't wait, so excited. They have vultures, they have owls. I'm like so excited. And actually they're the ones who I, I know I was saying bye, no I'm not saying bye. They're the ones I contacted when we had, I thought there were baby owls on the roof next door, but they were night jars. So look, those aren't baby owls. There was an owl with two night jars and then the owl left. I thought there was like two baby owls just stranded there for weeks. They're like, no, those are night jars and that is a spotted eagle owl. And I was like, oh great. So how do we build a house for a spotted eagle owl? And they shared the plans on how to do it. I had it built and everything. So they've been very helpful to me in the past. Love it, what they're doing. Great initiative. So I'll link that here also if you're interested in that. But the, all the details and the videos and going out there will be over on TSY After Party. Anyway, I gotta go. Have a super great weekend. Hope you enjoy the tutorial tomorrow and stay hooked.
So if you haven't subscribed and joined, you can do that underneath this video right now. Is it over there? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Let me put that in my pocket. That was troublesome. I have had one cup of coffee. <laughs> Oof. All right, now let me show you these cuties. Back to showing you my cuties. What color looks cute in there? Always hot pink. Of course it does. Um, I'm rambling, right? Right by the door to the urinary. So thank you, Kim. Let me put it here. What happened to this? Oh gosh, what happened to that? This got knocked. Okay. I better not put it there either. We got knocked. Okay, there we go. I feel like I'm talking really fast, right? <laughs> I'm like, we're burning daylight. We gotta get on the road. It's a two hour drive, so excited. Anyway, I'm gonna stop talking now. <laughs> See you soon. I hope that recorded. I'll be really upset. Maybe I should make more coffee.